So regardless of whether we continue straight up here in the short term and test higher levels, or maybe we see continued lower lows, lower highs in the short term, as I was just talking about here, regardless of how this plays out, these are great levels to be accumulating and getting involved in crypto, in my opinion. From a long-term perspective, things are looking really, really good right now for Bitcoin. And I'm getting, I'm, and every day that goes by, I'm getting more and more bullish on this market. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're gonna to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently trading back above $10,000. We're actually trading at $10,140 right now. This is the third time this year that Bitcoin has tested up above this level and we are gonna be talking about this in today's video. Also, before we get into the video, I made a post on Twitter recently that says, one million channel views milestone hit. This channel now has over 1 million views, which is an incredible milestone to cross. And guys, I could not have done it without you, obviously. All of my loyal viewers who are subscribed to this channel, who hit the like button, who make comments, guys, I cannot thank you enough for the incredible support. Looking at some of the prices in the crypto market right now, we can see we're having a nice green day today. Uh, Bitcoin up above 10,000, trading at 10,140, up 2.82%. Ethereum up as well, and all the top cryptos are following Bitcoin to the upside. Also, one of my favorite altcoins, Chainlink, is currently up over 6%, trading close to the all-time high levels right now, and we are potentially looking for a major breakout soon. Also, one of the biggest supporters of this channel is CryptoWatch, which is my preferred platform for charting and trading. I use it every day, every hour of the day. Definitely click that link below and sign up for CryptoWatch right now. Looking at Bitcoin on the daily chart, we were in this rising wedge pattern. We broke to the downside of the rising wedge pattern, and we have since then found support at 9,500 and rallied up. We have just turned previous resistance into new support, which is good progress for the bulls. During this sell-off, we exited overbought territory on the daily RSI. So this means that Bitcoin does now have room to continue up. One thing to keep in mind is that we have seen a lower low uh, recently and we, we still have lower highs in the market, right? So just keep in mind that Bitcoin is technically currently in a lower low, lower high trajectory, right? So keep that in mind. We are currently in the short term at least looking at lower lows and lower highs. And right now for the bulls, the bulls are gonna wanna see Bitcoin push back towards 10,500. Uh, we definitely don't want to see ourselves continuing a lower low, lower high trajectory. Um, if we do continue to see lower lows and lower highs, then we'd be looking to possibly test 9,900, closer to the 21-week EMA. Looking at the four-hour chart, things are looking pretty good. Bitcoin is back above $10,000. Uh, we were trading within this downward sloping channel. We broke out of the channel, created support along that previous resistance line, and since then rallied up, and we moved straight through the $10,000 level once again. What I find interesting right now is that Bitcoin has, this is the third time that Bitcoin has broken above 10,000 and is actually, you know, holding sustaining prices for now above 10,000. You know, every time we break above 10,000, we do find support um, at these levels and we sustain prices for at least a little bit of time. So the market is beginning to accept $10,000 as a new normal. If we can find support along 10,000 and remain above this level and continue up, I would actually, at that point, I would suspect that we'd be looking for new yearly highs and push towards 11,000 if we start to create some higher highs here on the four hour chart. But if we start to come back to 10,000 and we can't sustain it and we get resistance once again and we test lower, it's possible that for, for at least in the short term at that point, the bulls would be losing a little bit of momentum. We would see a decrease in momentum for the bulls and maybe look to test back to the $9,000 level before finding significant support, which at that point would very likely be a test of the 21-week EMA or at least closer to the 21-week EMA would be my personal downside target. The lowest I think Bitcoin would be going at this point is the 21 week EMA. And we'd probably find significant support at that level and continue up from there, looking to move bullish into the halving. And again, as I've been saying in my past few videos, I don't think we're gonna be going any lower than 9,900 at this point. So regardless of what happens in the short term, whether, whether we just continue up you know, very quickly or maybe we see continued lower lows, lower highs, I think that it's a great time to be getting involved in this market. Of course, the, thing, the things that are going to happen in the short term are very hard to predict. But overall, I am very bullish on this market. And I do think that things are going to continue bullish here 
going into the next few weeks, few months. Now, looking at the having analysis that I have here, what I what I'm expecting right now, um, even if Bitcoin does see lower highs and lower lows here in the near term, right? Let's say we do continue down. I do think that overall things are looking extremely bullish here. I think we're gonna be holding above the 21 week EMA here and remaining bullish going into the halving. And very likely we're gonna be remaining above this moving average and looking to test it once more before we break the all time high level. Now, a lot of people who watch this channel are familiar with my halving analysis. And based on this analysis, um, you know, Bitcoin is Bitcoin always remains above the 21 week EMA in all bull cycles in Bitcoin history. So if we do remain above the 21 week EMA, which I think is very likely, that would suggest that we are not gonna be falling lower than 9,900 at this point, and that any prices above 9,900 are great areas to accumulate Bitcoin for the next parabolic advance. So regardless of whether we continue straight up here in the short term and test higher levels, or maybe we see continued lower lows, lower highs in the short term, as I was just talking about here, Regardless of how this plays out, these are great levels to be accumulating and in getting involved in crypto, in my opinion. From a long-term perspective, things are looking really, really good right now for Bitcoin. And I'm getting, I'm, and every day that goes by, I'm getting more and more bullish on this market. So definitely keep all this in mind as you're trading this market, guys. Keep your eye on the long-term. In general, the success rate for long-term traders is higher than short-term traders. That's statistically true. So just keep your eye on the long-term and you will usually do pretty well. So that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also sign up for the CryptoWatch platform, which is the platform you see me use in all my videos. I have some tutorials there. Also, if you wanna support the channel further, you can join the Patreon. And in my Patreon, you can see what altcoins I'm interested in and you can see my altcoin portfolio building, right? I'm slowly building up an altcoin portfolio right now. So definitely check it out if you're interested in that. And I will see you all in the next video.